deployments on Replit are the fastest way to go from idea to production. Let's take a look at how they work in practice. Deployments allows you to not only build and prototype, but also to deploy your web app to the world. Now, this blog post tells us all about deployments. Deployments are a reliable way to host your product on Replit. It's easy to scale the server up and down depending on the needs of your project, and it gives you those two versions of your code, the production version, which runs for your users, and the dev version, which runs for you. So in this example, we're gonna take a very simple PDF chatbot built using embed chain and some UI design. If you wanna see how I've done that, please take a look at these videos where we work through both projects. I've given embed chain a PDF version of an open source learn to program in Python ebook, and I'm going to allow people to chat to it to ask programming questions. I've already got it prototyped up here, and let's see that in action. My users can go in and ask any question. And of course, you can follow that up. And so you can see my app here works pretty well. I can't distribute from here though, because all I've got is a dev URL to give to people. That means if I'm working on my code or I'm iterating on the next version of my app, they're gonna see weird error messages and things are not gonna work for them. And I don't want that for my paying customers. What we're gonna do is try deployments. And that's very, very straightforward. We're gonna hit the deploy button on the right hand side and we're gonna pick our reserved VM. At this point, you get to choose the capacity of the machine you want. We got all the way from 0.25 of a CPU up to a dedicated 4 of a CPU with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So it meets a massive variety of professional needs. Now my site mainly sends API requests back and forth. So I'm gonna go for the single CPU, four gigabyte of RAM version, and I'm gonna purchase and deploy. I then get the opportunity to add auto refill, which is worthwhile if you always want your deployment to stay up, because it will auto refill from your credit card to make sure that the cycles balance is always good enough to pay for your hosting. Then the deployment is as simple as clicking deploy. And we've got some options we can change here. We can change the domain name. So I'm gonna go and change that. You will have the opportunity to add in your own custom domain name once it's been deployed. So I'm gonna call mine chat to Python. You can add a build command. Now I don't need that on this server because it's just running Python. It autofills the run command from what it knows. It autofills its environmental variables as well from what you've set up in secrets. And it gives us the option to add further environmental variables or to change from a web server to a background worker, depending upon the context of the app. That's very useful if you're writing Discord bots or Slack bots or things like that, because you can deploy them without needing a web front end. Let's deploy and see just how quick it is. Now you can leave that deployment to happen in the background if you want, but we're gonna watch it work because it works beautifully. And we've already built and we're bundling now to create that virtual server for us. You'll see the deployments button in the top right now also has some useful animation to show us what's going on. You can see that this deployment is actually pretty quick. We've got a bunch of Python dependencies here that need to be dealt with. Let's take a quick look at the size of this REPL and what it's actually pushing out to a virtual machine. We're talking 456 megabytes of REPL that needs to be pushed out. And there we go, the build took three minutes. Now, the ability to push out our deployment from in our editor is gonna save you a massive amount of time because we've got all those settings from the place that you're working. You don't need to switch context or move between different windows to get this to work. Let's take a look at the production version of our code and ask it some questions. And we've got a rock solid, really snappy version of our web app pushed out in production. Apart from deploying from the editor in just a few clicks, our hosting has high uptime and can scale with you. By clicking manage, we can go and change that type of VM, giving it more or fewer resources as we see need. This means if you post your startup to Hacker News and it really takes off, then you can boost that VM very, very quickly to manage the ridiculous influx of traffic you're gonna get. We can of course go and connect our actual domain name that we've purchased elsewhere to it in a very, very simple way. We can also see the history of the deployment, any redeploys and all that information that you might need. Built-in analytics to show access and usage of your web app and logs showing you the exact detail of what's happening, which are really, really useful for debugging issues that your customers send in. You can even go in 
pause or completely shut down and remove your hosting subscription from within the same pane. Of course, the most valuable thing is having that difference between production and development server. Let's take a quick look. You see our web view here has the website address REPL.co at the end, and that's our development server. You can use this website address to do your development testing. Whereas our deployment is REPL.app, and that is where your deployed copy lives. One of the things that embed chain should allow us to do is to remove the actual embed code and it will use the cached version. Now, I'm gonna make this change to make my program more efficient so it'll run quicker for my users and to make it a little bit cheaper for me. Oh dear, looks like I've broken something. Now, this would normally be a problem because in our traditional model, the development server would have been the main server and our users would now be feeling pain. But thanks to Replit deployments, my production server is ineffective and still works beautifully. So if you need to put out production level software, Replit deployments is for you. You can build, prototype and fully host your projects in the same place. Why don't you give Replit deployments a go? We'd love to hear what you build with it.